If you feel like COVID made the world go stupid, science agrees with you. Long COVID can make your gray matter wilt away similar to very bad diabetes and come with conditions like POTS and MCAS. And one of the best things for it might be drugs like Ozempic. These have actually shown promise as treatment for promoting healing of the brain in mice with type 2 diabetes, which COVID can cause. And we're starting to hear reports like this from patients whose POTS went into remission when they took the drugs. But there's a price to pay beyond the pharmacy bill, so hear me out. Hear ye, hear ye! I'm Brian Crawford and I've been treating chronic post-infectious illnesses for more than 15 years with natural medicines and breathing exercises. But I'm not opposed to my patients using prescriptions when it's obvious they are being helped by them. And this is one of those cases. And Big Pharma is not paying me to say this. I make my living treating the ultra wealthy so I can give you the goods for free. I really just want you all to be smart and happy and look good in a swimsuit. These drugs mimic the action of a hormone your body already makes that helps you produce more insulin to drop your blood sugar or feel more full with less food so your love handles melt away like that ice cream you shouldn't really be eating when it's left out in the sunshine. Ice cream? I've already discussed the relationship between high blood glucose and POTS, including the role played there by fungal mycelium hijacking your vagus nerve to get a sugar high. So it's no surprise that any medicine that drops your blood sugar could help there. But I haven't seen anyone connect the dots on how GLP-1 affects the immune system and why the drugs might be great treatments for people with MCAS or fibromyalgia or POTS. Now this is cutting edge info and I wanna help you, but I don't wanna get sued. Don't take medicines without a prescription and don't take any of this as advice for yourself before you talk to your doctor. Everybody self-medicates. These chronic illnesses are mysteries because they have multiple causes that sandwich on top of each other and that makes finding effective treatments very hard. But they do share a few things in common a lot of the time and one of those is cuckoo bananas inflammatory markers. It's really inflamed in here. People with these conditions often have very high levels of cytokines like IL-1 and IL-6 so nothing heals the way it should. But ironically low body temperatures so again fungus grabs hold of them more easily and they don't spike high fevers well to kick out damp plague viruses like SARS-CoV-2. GLP-1 medications have shown the ability to drop those cytokines back down. If they can do that and starve fungus of sugar at the same time, kind of a win. GLP-1 also has healthy effects on your microbiome, which is in charge of just about everything. But the hidden cost I was talking about is that they can have terrible side effects. The most common ones are nausea, vomiting, and then either diarrhea or constipation. They can also get more medically serious like pancreatitis, and you have an increased risk of certain kinds of cancer. But wouldn't you love to have your cake and eat it too? I'm not going to tell you that I sell herbs that can prevent cancer, that would be incredibly irresponsible of me, but I do want to let you know I've treated dozens of patients taking these medicines for the digestive side effects I discussed, and so far this formula has handled every single one. We have data to show why this probably works. The ingredients have biphasic regulatory action on gastric motility. That's a fancy way of saying it makes your tummy really happy. Can you make my tummy happy? So have you tried GLP-1 medicines yet for POTS or MCAS or any kind of long COVID? How'd it go for you? Sound off in the comments. I'd really like to hear about it.